Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I love doing that. We're still at Bolton Abbey Estate Caravan car, car, Caravan car, Cars Motorbike Park. Uh, yeah, one of those. Um, thingy. <laughs> um, we weren't going to start as vlog here, but we we're just doing this review of the campsite, and we came for a little walk, and the sun's come out. Yeah, oh, it's a beautiful day. So we thought we'd start as vlog from here because we're just off to Barden Bridge, which is just over there. And then walking back, and then we've got a two hour drive ahead of us on his way down to Birmingham, Coventry area. Not that that's where we're going to be today, I mean, that's where we're heading to. It's beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's gorgeous. What is the story with this bridge? Apparently, loads of tourists come here. I don't. The get story it. <laughs> of the bridge. Basically, there's always been this river here, a river wharf, and one day someone decided to build a bridge so that you can get over it. That's it. That's it. <laughs> That's all I know about it, Mazzy. It's a bridge. <laughs> They're not as small as they were a couple of weeks ago. They're teenagers now, aren't they? Hmm. Stroppy teenagers. That one's a bit scruffy, isn't it? <laughs> That's mother. I just noticed at the other side of Baden Bridge. It's a little seat over there, can you see it? What a wonderful place to sit. Just staring over the river down here. It does look like something out of a postcard picture, doesn't it? Incredible. I'd love to take you down there, Mazzy. Lift a few rocks up. Yeah. Find a few crayfish. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful, I tell ya. <laughs> Well, we made a right uh, mess of this, Mazzy. We have. <laughs> this isn't Barden Bridge. This might be Barden Bridge. This is Bolton Abbey Aqueduct. <laughs> really? Really. I've just looked it up. This is Bolton Abbey Aqueduct. I was going to say, this isn't the bridge we saw yesterday, because no. the bridge yesterday you had to drive over it, and yeah. this isn't it then. Right. The bridge is round the corner, it's over there, so we're not going. Never mind. Let's enjoy the aqueduct instead, eh? Yeah. <laughs> They're not dogs, you have to meh. Meh. You see, you all think she's prim and proper, don't you? Prim Yeah, you. What? What did you just say? No, what did I say? He says, can't wait to get back so I can have a wee on a table. I did not. You did. She says a wee's on the table when we get back. <laughs> Disgusting. That's the kind of girlfriend I've got. Uh, I'm feeling it on my leg now coming up here. Well, she constant? could already feel it on her leg. You know, she's going oh. into detail now. Bit of a road trip now, isn't it? No. Why not? So I don't want to go anywhere, Mazzy. I'm happy here. Yeah, it's lovely. No, we've got a, well, what is it? Two hour drive? Hour and 48 minutes. It'd be more than that. Yeah, this could probably be free. <laughs> As I say, I'm not going anywhere. I like Bolton Abbey Estate. Yeah, it was lovely. Campsite, I'm staying here. This was our view. Let me show you our view. Bluebells everywhere. Bluebells everywhere. And over here, you get like ducks and birds, and they're just like roaming the place like f family, like they belong here. Which Come is exactly on. why I'm not going anywhere, Mazzy. I'm Put happy where I am. The key in the ignition. Come on, let's get this journey done. <laughs> <coughs> so I'm going to be editing a couple of videos on the way there. Got me laptop. Um, just want to say good luck to my niece today. She's got a driving test today, babe. Caitlin. Oh, good luck, Caitlin. <laughs> good luck, sweetheart. I do hope you pass. Although this announcement, by by the time you watch this, we'll we'll have known whether you've passed or not. And also, then tomorrow. It is my little nephew's birthday, Cody. Happy birthday, Cody. Happy birthday, Cody. Hope you do have a lovely day. I'm looking very nervous. I am nervous, Mazzy. We've got that Bolton Abbey arch to get under again. Yep. I hate this. The third and last time we'll ever do it. <laughs> third time lucky or unlucky? Oh, fingers crossed. <laughs> Right, here we go. It's just round this corner. I'm 
sure. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to pull the wing oh, mirror. Oh whoa, no, whoa. there's a motor I'm coming down. <laughs> oh that's a, oh he's dreading it look. Ah see. He's, I think he's He's scared to go through. Look at the height though, he's got plenty on height. Yeah, it's made me feel comfortable about yeah. that actually. So it's more your width, isn't it, than your height? I think we're even wider than him actually. He didn't even have to pull his wing mirrors in. We'll have to give him a good morning campus wave! <laughs> <laughs> Talk to ya. The chap in the motor home was about to talk to Danny. He kept going. I think what it is is Dan's nervous. I'm concentrating. Yeah. Right, let's quickly go before someone else comes. Right, don't go at this speed. Honey, right, slow Can you slow down? I'm going to now. Ooh. Right. Be careful. Be careful, you're going to hit yours. I'm okay. Look how close that is. Ah! Right, can you put yours back out now? Yep. Ooh. You see in the wing mirror, look, just how close we are to the wall. See it about there. Now we're all stuck. Oh, why aren't you reversing? You're not going to get in there. There's always one, isn't there? Yeah, so anyone come in this direction, you have to go through the tunnel, so just bear that in mind. I wouldn't recommend it, would you, babe? If you don't know, if you're really not comfortable, just Thank don't you. do it. Just don't come to Bolton, have it? Simple. Yeah. <laughs> Look, I am a very confident driver, so it doesn't faze me. As long as I know I can get through there, I'll get through there. <sighs> but Thank that is God. a scary one. Right, we can relax. Quick shop stop. Got to fill up with uh, petrol again. Hey! <laughs> he hates this time of the month. <laughs> so I'm going to go in as well. We're just going to get a couple of essentials because we've been trying to clear everything out and we haven't been able to go shopping anyway. No supermarkets, but we're going tomorrow because then we're on site for four days. So just need to get a couple of things just to get us through today. <laughs> Otherwise we're living out of rubbish out the cupboards again. 86 pounds, dead on. He's good at that, isn't he? <laughs> got essentials, got me energy drink. Dan's got a few of these. If it can show you, like milkshakes. How often do you think we fill up our tank, honey? Well, that's only the second time we've filled up since we set up. Set off on a trip. It's done well then, so really, isn't over it? Over a month. Oh, that's done well. Class. People think that we do a lot of miles going around in a motorhome all the time, but we don't. We did when we were up in Scotland. We were filling up like every well, ten days. It's only getting to your destination once you're there. Yeah. It's only like 20 miles in between campsites. Yeah. The... So you don't, you don't use it much. You used to support Burnley, did you? Yes, as well as Liverpool, not just Burnley. What made you support Liverpool? I then? supported Bradford, I supported Burnley, and I supported mainly Liverpool. Uh, we're in Burnley. You've been here watching football matches, yeah? I used to go every couple of weeks. I've even been to see Burnley at Wembley twice. <laughs> yeah, we're a big fan, because Craig's dad was a Burnley fan, you see. That was your buddy, wasn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I just saw a sign there for Keithley. Yeah. Are we near Keithley? Hmm. I don't know how long, about 40 minute drive, half an hour. Wow. It's not far. That's where you're from, isn't it? Were you yeah. actually born there? I was born in a hospital, not in Keithley, in a hospital. <laughs> I was born on the streets. <laughs> now on the M65, heading back into civilization. Quite derelict and remote, haven't we? Derelict. We haven't been derelict, Mazzy. That's the wrong word. You keep using the word derelict. We have really? not been derelict. What's the word there? It's been, it's been quite remote places. I'll give you that. We're not derelict. Yeah. Well, we've not even had a shop for the last couple of days. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. What a Whoa. fool. Overtake that heat. Ah! Babe, overtake him. I don't know what the procedure is doing. He's all over the place. I 
one in the way of uh, scares me. I just saw a sign, Pendle Village. Are we near Pendle Hill? We're sort of near Pendle. Can we go? You always promise that you'll take me. Yes, but if you remember rightly, yeah. there's a reason we've never been, because there's Why? nowhere to park this thing. Oh. Get there one day, but how yeah. I don't know. <laughs> in this. On a scooter, we'll have to buy a scooter for the boot. <laughs> circus in town. Candy's circus. Do you like circuses, honey? Never been to one, Mazzy. What? You've never been to the circus? No one's ever taken me to the circus. There was a guy who works on a circus who's invited me to his circus for like a backstage like view of it to film and all that <laughs> um, but no I've never been to the circus oh bless Aww. just looking at our mileage do you know what that means is it 46 it means we've done exactly 20,000 miles in two and a half years of happiness that's pretty good actually isn't it considering it's the mileage good. we do very good. People, you know, they say your average is about 12,000 a year for your average motorist, so for us, yeah, brilliant. You nearly made me miss my stop then. Who, uh, me? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Here we are, coming up to yet another campsite. Now this one is Royal Vale Caravan Park. And the beauty of this one is it's not in any of the clubs we've been in before. It's an independent oh, one. Oh. So, don't know what to expect really. It's going to be slightly different. Oh, this looks very nice, doesn't it? I have no idea where to go, what to do. In the arrivals bit, you've got two cars, look. It's not very intelligent, is it? Looks very posh. It does look posh. It looks very nice. Yeah. It's. I think it was twenty and twenty-eight pounds for the night. Oh, that's all right. Only a one night. Yeah. So yeah, let me go in and see what they've got to say. Okay. I like it, Mazzy. I like it. Very yeah. posh reception. Yeah. Um. Right. If you're needing to leave site, you need to get a key fob, which will get you in and out of site. Mm -hmm. um, and you have to leave a five pound deposit for that just to let people know but we don't need that because we're only staying one night we're not going to be leaving the okay we're not going to be leaving so we ain't got a key fob um pick any pitch we want lovely they're all serviced pitches oh there you go look royal vale caravan park five gold stars honey oh. <laughs> this do look nice so they're all serviced all serviced. I'm guessing these would be caravan and car, car wouldn't it? These to Whatever the right. Whatever you like, really. Um. Where's the sun? Could do with you getting Did we the get a sun? map? No map. No map. Didn't get anything. Oh, it's so beautiful. The problem is, I don't know how big it is. I don't know if I should keep driving or just take the first available. I think probably the next available. <laughs> the way it's going, yeah. yeah. There are only a few at the beginning there. Now this is more of a... Oh, is it a dead end? No, that's a caravan, isn't it? Is we it? can go on that. Can you? No, it's a bit crowded down there. Oh, what about here, look? Yeah, what about this this one here? Yeah. Oh, that one. That one. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and the beauty about here, you don't even have to go up to them and tell them what your pitch number is. Oh, don't you? <laughs> they don't oh. seem bothered, Mazzy. I don't really understand why you have to do that anyway. Right, number 25, made the post. Ah! Literally, I've just pulled up. Got a kettle on, haven't we? Took away the words literally. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> do you hear that? I'm getting told what to say. <laughs> just pulled up, li literally. <laughs> just pulled up this actual second. Got the kettle on. But I've got to show you. I do believe this might end up being one of my favourites. <laughs> so if 
five star campsite. Independent. I don't know what that means actually, so it's nothing to do with our club sites at all, babe, is that right? Sorry? It's got nothing to do with our club sites then? No. Nope. No. This oh, is okay. an independent caravan park. It feels like a holiday park, doesn't it? Yeah, right it's holiday so power. good. We've come up here out the way, and actually, there weren't many other pictures to choose from, really. Well, there was, but like it here. Love it, love it. Don't panic, don't panic. Talking to campsites, we found a campsite finally for the bank holiday weekend, didn't we? We did. Just. <laughs> and it's not far from where we're going to be anywhere. Yeah, so it's, that's good. It's an independent one, it's not one of the club ones, can't mm -hmm. remember what it's called. But uh, yeah. Two nights. £30 for... pound a night. And no electric. No electric. <laughs> Well, it's bank all, they're all yeah. the cheap. I, I did find one of the others was available. That, that was £75 and a lot further away. So And no electric. And No, that was with electric. Oh, I thought you said that was no electric. Was it was. was with electric, but it was a lot further. That was yeah, about a 50 minute drive. This is only 15 minute drive. Yeah. Well, it's a new day and it's an exciting day. We're now heading off. We're now heading off to a campsite for five days. Five days? I think that's the most we've ever done, isn't it? Yeah, we've done four, so this is going to... It better be good. <laughs> I hate it when like, we go somewhere and we're not too impressed and then you're stuck there. But I'm sure it's going to be really good, actually. Dan's been very patient with me, haven't you, babes? Very, indeed. <laughs> I've been a nervous wreck on these motorways this morning, absolutely nervous wreck. So bless him, we could have gotten to our destination half an hour earlier, but you're taking us off the motorway just to save me that stress. And it avoids the toll road, so I'll save a couple of quid. <laughs> I'll be honest, I've been in three car accidents and I just can't bear it. I get scared. It's the lorries, so much so. I trust Dan's driving, it's just. Probably I don't because know. I've never been in an accident. Haven't you? Oh, so yeah, bless you. You've been the best today. Anyway, let's get to Tesco's. We've got to stock up. I can get you a new dressing gown. Ideally. Ideally, yeah. Oh, and I just found out. As we were in Burnley yesterday, and well, Liverpool are playing them tonight. Liverpool are off to Burnley. Oh, that's such a shame, isn't it? I'd love Why? to have been gone through Burnley and knowing the boys were there. <laughs> Might uh, have seen them, you know, on the coach and giving them away. Two games to go on, they have to win both games to get into Europe. Massive games. You have to have internet to be able to watch them as well. Yes. The both games are on the same site, so if this particular site is... And we've not had good internet at all, have we? For a long while. For a long while, it's been... Oh. So anyway, yeah, I hope you do. So here we are on campsite. It's rubbish. I don't want your rubbish. <laughs> uh, Kingsbury Park, I like it here, Mazzy. <sighs> it's lovely. It's got a very good feel about it. Yeah, it's very nice. And I'm very happy with our pitch, actually. Uh, having a big chat with the ward and trying to get somewhere nice to be to the lady. We were going to go there, but she says you can't go on the grass with the awning. And I says, well, it does stick out quite a bit. And we've eventually settled on here and we're going to go on the grass a bit. But because we're driving away a lot, we're not going to peg it over the van. We're just thinking like having it as a tent here. So we could sit down outside here if we wanted to. Or go in the awning. That's the plan. So we're going to try and get that up and see what happens. But yeah, lovely, lovely, lovely sight. Really spread out. Doing something different with the awning today, aren't we, honey? Trying. You're not going to explain? I think I have. What? I think I've already told Oh, have you? Oh, sorry, I was indoors. Trying to put it up as a tent, but uh, I just need to fully inflate it first. Oh, okay. Well, come inside with me. I'm just preparing some food. Like I said, we've been shopping. I've got all this lot that I can't actually get into the fridge. <laughs> the fridge is packed. So I'm going to try and whittle it down, which I have done. I've put chicken and stuff like that in bags into the freezer. And I'm going to make up a salad bowl and try and use a lot of that. And some couscous in that one. Just washed all my salad. 
Now let me get on to this. I'm going to do a carrot. Now, last night we was watching Skynet, Frankie's channel, and he had one of these cool gadgets. He was making homemade coleslaw, which actually I'm going to try one day, not this week. So I've got one of these gadgets. I'm going to show you what this does. Never seen one before. It's so good. So Frankie made this look really easy. I've never seen one of these before. So my first time, let me try it. Let me try it on the plate first. Oh yeah, that's well good. It's making these like tiny little string things. Perfect for homemade co coleslaw. I'm gonna put some of that in me salad. Oh, that's right, posh, isn't it? Thanks Frankie, that's, that is so cool. And I will be making your coleslaw, like I said. There we go, it looks like a ripe posh salad, you know, when you go to a restaurant or wherever. So this is what it is, it's not an actual potato peeler, it's a... Shulini peeler? Cost me five quid this one today, definitely worth it. Oh wow, he's done amazing, that's so good. That's going to be a lot easier to drive away now, got that bit not attached. It's lovely because now I feel like we can sit out here. It's so good. Where is he? It's super good, thank you, darling. You're very welcome. Yeah, all right. Thank you. You knackered. Do you want a coffee? Got a no, can. I'm hot, We're going to be ending this vlog very shortly. Yeah. It's a quicker vlog mm. today. We just want to end it because tomorrow's a new start, a new day, and we want to start a new one. Um, the last few videos you've watched might have been camping and uh, camping national camping show. As but, order's gone a bit wrong, hasn't it? But we're not actually going. Well, it's not gone wrong, but we're not actually going to the camping show until tomorrow. But they'll have already seen some of it. Yeah, because we want to get it up on the day that we're there. So. So that people who are going, if they click it on YouTube, you know, National yeah. Camping Show, our video would come up and we might get some more subscribers. Well, it's a brand new show as well, mm -hmm. isn't it, for the year, so I think it would be good to get that up. I do, I yeah. do. So we're going to get that up. Um, you, you're watching this afterwards. We'll, we'll get back into order when we can anyway, don't worry yeah. about it. Thank you, Jim Corber. Thank you, Grant. Grant Chalmers, uh, yeah thank you guys so much, Grant Chalmers has become a new patron and Jim's just really old and fantastic. Fantastic, you're all fantastic. Really old. <laughs> oh don't for you Jim, <laughs> click round the hero. Okay we're going to leave it there, it's yeah. a shorter vlog for you today, uh, back yeah. tomorrow. Have a yeah. wonderful, wonderful evening where now I'm going to eat his tea and relax, ready yeah. for the big show tomorrow. Yes, bye -de -bye. have a big weekend. Bye-bye. I'm going to do it.